I'm Gizzy Erskin and I'm a TV cook. I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make bread at home. So I'm going to start off with the ingredients and what we've got here is some dry active yeast, some golden caster sugar, some blood temperature water, some strong white flour, some extra virgin olive oil and some fine sea salt. So as we're using dry active yeast we need to activate it. Now yeast loves nothing better than a warm environment, which is why we're putting it into blood temperature water. Now to check if your water's blood temperature, you simply just stick your finger in it. And if you can't feel anything, then it's a perfect temperature. So I'm going to pour the yeast in. So then we're going to give it its food, and yeast loves sugar. And the great thing about putting sugar into your bread is it adds loads of flavour too. I'm going to pour that in. And finally, we just give that a mix. When we get back to our yeast, you'll see that it's like the super foamy. So we're going to pour our olive oil into that. That's just our liquid ingredients together. So I'm going to put our salt in with our strong white flour. Then with a spoon, we're just going to slowly mix this all together. And it'll start off quite wet, and then you'll see that it comes together in clumps. And as it gets to that stage, you can sort of get your hands in there. Now we're just going to turn this out onto a floured surface and I'm going to get on with kneading. So the process for that is just a matter of pulling it all together into a ball and pushing it away from you and then pulling it back into you. And you'll see as you keep going that the dough will start to toughen up. The important thing with kneading is to make sure you give it a good you know, going over because this is where you're going to get the gluten developed. And the bad bit is that you need to keep doing this for about 10 minutes to get that gluten fully elastic. So you know that the dough is almost there. When, when you're pushing it, it starts to get really tough. You're almost fighting with it a bit. And a good indicator, and after about 10 minutes you should do this, is to start pulling the dough against itself and pulling it into a really tight ball. And if you just give it a bit of a squidge on the top, if it springs back straight away like that, then it's ready. So what we're going to do then is put it onto its next stage, which is the rise. So we're going to pop that into an oil bowl, cover that really tightly with cling film, and I'm going to leave that for about an hour to an hour and a half until it's sort of doubled, if not trebled in size. So when we come back to it, we come back to this beast, and you can see how enormous it's got. Now this is my favourite part, we're just going to unravel cling film, and this is the great fun bit. And then just with the flat of your hand, just squish with all your might and knock all of the air out of this. Scoop it out of the bowl. Let me shape it into a rugby ball shape. Put it into an oiled loaf tin. Squash it down into the edges. Then you just put the cling film on the top. Then put that back into a warm area just to rise again for about 45 minutes to an hour. So once again, we've come back and it's looking huge. So this is ready to go in the oven. I'm just gonna peel off the cling film really gently. Now we put this into a hot oven, about 200 degrees for about 35 minutes. So to check your loaves ready, you need to take it out of the oven, give it a tap on the top. If it sounds hollow, then it's perfect. So there we've got it, our perfect white loaf.